Hello, today I'm doing roast beef. So first off, get your bit of beef. And this has been in the freezer for about a month. So first thing is make sure it's thoroughly defrosted before cooking, otherwise you're gonna get quite raw in the middle. Um, so I've had it in the fridge for about two days and then out on the bench for about an hour. Uh, keep the label, or look at the label, because that'll give you the, the weight and this one is 1.4 kilograms. So I'm going to start cooking it for 20 minutes at high temperature of 220 degrees and then turn it down to 180 degrees, this is um, centigrade, um, for 30 minutes, is it 30 minutes per, <coughs> excuse me, 20 minutes per 500 grams. So that would be an hour. So an hour plus the high temp of 20 minutes, so an hour and 20. So that's <clears throat> as much time to allow for. And then when you take it out of the oven, you leave it to rest for about 10, 20 minutes. Um, and whilst it's resting, uh, you can do the vegetables and stuff like that. And if you're a bit worried about what the temperature is, internal temperature is, <clears throat> you can use one of these things here that's going to record the temperature and I believe it should be above 70 degrees if it's cooked but of course that depends on your taste because you can have it um, sort of quite um, red in the middle. So first off pat it down um, so the outside is fairly dry yeah. So pat it down. Then um, just put some oil on it. Now my <coughs> go-to oil on the keto diet is coconut oil, so I'll just use some of that. Um, so there's the coconut oil I'll use, and I'll just get a so I don't contaminate the oil with my fingers. So when I say oil, it's one of these ones that's solid in at room temperature. In in a um, climate like I've got here. And then it's just a matter of putting it on to the piece of meat. Oh, this is uh, when I say a roast, I'll just rephrase that. It's um, so I'll see a bit of that beef, beef, um, beef top side. So it's top side roast. And although it cost twenty six dollars, which sounds quite a lot, but um, you get sort of I don't know two eighty, um, sort of about, maybe about ten reasonable size meals out of this. So two dollars sixty a meal. Not too bad. Right now I've got the oil on. I'll season it. I just put some ordinary table salt on. So and that's about all the prep I do. So that's not too difficult. I just put it in a tray so it's not sitting in any juices, but. Um, doesn't really matter, I suppose. So there we go. That's in there. It still feels quite cold, actually. And it's not frozen or anything. And it's, it's thawed, but I would say that's not room temperature. So I might just leave it in for a, excuse me, a little bit longer than what it says in the recipe. Okay. So now the oven temperature I've put at. I've actually got it at two thirty. Because opening the door and stuff like that is going to obviously lower the temperature. So I'll put it in and then turn it down to 220. <coughs> so here we go. In she goes. Oh, in he goes. So you notice it's not covered or with tin foil or anything. It's just straight in as per. And then I'll turn it down to 220. And it's 20 minutes, I said, didn't I? So... Set the time for 20 minutes. Now all I'll do in 20 minutes time is just turn that temperature down to 180 
and then leave it on 180 for about an hour. So I'll come back then. Right, we've done the um, hour in the oven at uh, the lower temperature of 180. So I now take it out of the oven and as I say, it just needs to rest for 10 minutes. So I just move it onto a plate or carbon board. So I've got that there, it's above the oven vent, so it keeps the heat coming through. And I'll just put a piece of tin foil over that, if I can find some. That should be and that'll be ready to carve in about 10 minutes. Right, so let's see what it looks like. In look, let's. <coughs> right. Let's see what it looks like inside. Now there's the right way and wrong way to slice this. Don't slice it against the grain, I'm told. Oops, now that's the vegetable already. I'll turn that off. Okay, so where's the grain? Maybe that's the grain. Well, that seems quite nice. Slightly weird, just how I like it. So yeah, that will do for me.